Welcome to the Video Vort. Each year, more than a million people travel to Philadelphia to visit the Liberty Bell, whereupon they read the inscription, Ukratem Dror Ba'aretz, you shall proclaim liberty throughout the land, to this week's Sedra. However, the Pasuk continues, L'chol Yoshveha, to all of its inhabitants. Now, Rav Sorotskin in his Oznaim Latorah asks, why is the Pasuk say, L'chol Yoshveha, to all of its inhabitants? The intended audience of this Pasuk are the uh, Evan Ivri, the, the indentured servants, that in the 50th year, the Jubilee year, the Yovel year, the, all the indentured servants go free. Whether they're at the end of their service, they're close to the end of their service, or they're in the middle of their service, they all go free. That's the intended audience of the Pasuk. So why does the Pasuk seem to broaden it to the entire uh, uh, inhabitants of the land? Answers Rav Sarotskin, there are two sets of obligations. There's the obligation that an Evan Ivri has for his master, and then there are obligations that the master has for his servant. Indeed, the Yerushalmi tells us as an example that if for, uh, for example, there's only one cushion, one pillow in the house, so the master has to give the pillow to the servant so the servant can sleep comfortably. Sometimes the obligations of the master to the servant are so great that it feels as though the master has himself a master. And that is what the Pasuk is telling us. Ukratem tror ba'adror ba'aret should proclaim liberty throughout the land to all the, its inhabitants, both to the Ebed Ivries as well as to the masters, both to the servants as well as to the masters. And the message for us is clear. Whether we are a business owner that have employees, or whether we just uh, have somebody in our employee to help us around the house, we must treat someone in our employee, a servant, with dignity, with respect, with honor. Just like in the days of old, the master had to treat his servant as though the servant were his master, with dignity, with honor, or with, with respect. Good Shabbos.